All right, so this morning we are in Anniston, Alabama. And right now I am in the downtown district of Anniston. You can see old school Americana. What I found interesting, look at this amazing old Rexall Drugs sign here. That thing is old school. Neon, the neon, it looks like the neon is still there. I don't know if it works or not though. But even better than that, two stores down from it is a Western Auto Store. I haven't seen a Western Auto Store in a long time. In fact, if you go back to Back to the Future, there's a Western Auto in the square there where Biff gets his oil from in Back to the Future Part 2. Looking good, sir. Hey, hey Biff, she's right. all fixed up just like you, but I couldn't get it started. You got some kind of kill switch on this thing. No, you just gotta have the right touch. Nobody can start this car but me. Four cans of Valvoline is dead. Four cans for a $300 job? I can't even have lunch in the shop. I can get a case of oil out of you for 300 bucks. It smells worse than Thanks. the gas station. Gas station. Never gonna go away, Biff. Never gonna go away. Gas time, I'll you a favor. in Anniston, Alabama. We're gonna check out the other half of what we saw yesterday. Today we're gonna to see the Anniston Museum of Natural History. Explore your world. This looks interesting. A pterodon. The Albertosaurus. These are real fossils. These are not remakes. Here on the left is the Allosaurus. On the right here is the Camarasaurus. Here's a skeleton of a Stegosaurus. This little bitty tiny head. These things are amazing. This is a neck bone from a Brachiosaurus. Again, they did tell me that these fossils, they're, they're not recreated. These are real fossils. This is a leg bone from a Mastodon. And this skull here, is a primitive dog skull. And this partial here is Oreodont skull. Looks like a donkey. A saber-toothed tiger. This is an American mastodon tooth. Bison jaw. And at the top is the jaw from a woolly mammoth. These live at the bottom of the ocean where no light can get to it. They're called tube worms and they are living underwater creatures. Here's an intact fossil of a fish. I don't know if you can read that. Itch thiosaur, native to Germany. That's one big fish. Look, the uh, tools they use to unearth it is also still inside of here. They just picked up the whole ground and moved it. This is a leg bone from a hydrosaurus an actual skull of a Triceratops. Wow. <laughs> Appalachiosaurus arm bone. And these are carnivore dinosaur teeth. <laughs> This is a seismograph, which detects movement in the earth, like earthquakes. Here's the geology site, Smithsonite, Gothite, it's pretty cool. Quartz. 
four. This looks like a cave. This section of cave is a stalactite and a stalagmite recreation. This is not real. Out of the caves that I've been in look exactly like this. The arts of Asia. Indo-Persian 19th century sword. It's a nice statue. There's also one carved out of wood here. It's crazy that these statues, whoever carved all of them, seem to have very large chest. This one is crazy. Four-armed goddess with one large chest and one not large. These are from the Ming Dynasty. Here's a statue of Buddha carved in stone. This was a Chinese puppet. This was made in 1868. It's made out of ivory. Wow. All of these are made out of ivory. Which we all know ivory is really hard to get because it's elephant tusk. You have to kill the elephant to get it. Giant elephant. Some massive tree there behind it as well. Roll tide. A giant gorilla. Wouldn't it be absolutely amazing if they had somebody dressed up in that costume who jumped out at people as they walked by? Not only is there a creepy alligator over there, but there's a hip hop anonymous sticking up from the ground right there. Some tools from Africa like pottery and a copper axe. Musical instrument back there. Bow and arrow. These swords here are from South Africa. It's pretty interesting. Now we're going into the ancient Egypt section. The baboon. There's pictures of it. Egyptian art there on the wall. Here's the jackal, or it was called Anubis in ancient Egypt. Here are some actual mummies. This one's head is cracking open. Well, both of them are. They don't know exactly how old they are. Here they are extracting the mummies that you see in the case right there. They're showing a, a video. This is the x-rays of the mummy over there. That's gonna do it for the Museum of Natural History now. So we've seen the Berman Museum of World History and the Anderson Museum of Natural History. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because I'm sure that's quite a lot. We're getting up tomorrow. We're going somewhere else to film again all day tomorrow. So stay tuned. There's gonna be a series of really good episodes popping out one right after the other this week. So I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.